Hey guys, this afternoon we're going to be showing you how to rope wrap an oar. Um, so it's a pretty simple process, uh, but there's a few things that you've got to do to make sure this goes well for you. So we'll start off with the materials we're going to use. Um, we like 5 16 braided nylon rope. You can get it in uh, any color you want as long as it's braided nylon it'll get it done for you. Um, you're going to need a spray on adhesive. So we use 3M uh, Super 77. Uh, works really well for us. Um, you're going to want a pair of scissors, a razor blade, you're going to want a marker and some masking tape and a measuring tape for our layout. You're going to want to pre-make about an 18 inch to 2 foot long uh, rope, um, rope section here and we'll show you what that's for in a little bit. If you've got an NRS strap or something similar, that'll be really handy to have. Um, and if you've got a hammer or a rubber mallet, then that's going to help you um, towards the end when we tighten up the rope wrap. If you want to go the extra mile, if you can grab a 2x4 or 2x6 um, and you've got a 2 8 2 and one eighth hole saw, um, this can help you really tighten those wraps up in the end. Um, so I'm just going to run you through the jig we've got set up here. There's a number of ways you can do this. You can use a table, um, you can use uh, saw horses like we have here. Um, basically you want to grab your oar locks off your boat and uh, get yourself some good spacing and get these oar locks secure. Whether you put it in the saw horse like we did here or you put it through a table or drill a piece of plywood, whatever you want. Um, and then it's really handy if you can jig something up so that um, you can put your rope spool on there. Um, to help you spool it off as we uh, wrap the oar. Anyways, we'll uh, get started. Alright, so the first thing we're going to do here is our layout. Um, so this is a seven and a half foot oar shaft. You'll have to take a look at uh, your boat and your setup and where your oar locks are to uh, know where you want your wrap to be. Uh, but our wrap is going to be 15 inches is going to be the start of it from the top of our grip. We're going to mark that out. And then we're going to come down to 35 inches. We're going to do a 20 inch long wrap for this one. Once we've got it laid out, we're going to grab our masking tape. And I like to go on the, just on the outside of that mark. Perfect. Now that we're all set, we're going to grab our adhesive. You want to make sure when you lay your adhesive down that you get really tight on this tape up here so that we get everything nice and covered. It really helps to have two people when you're wrapping oars. Um, you can do it by yourself, but um, it's a lot better if you've got two. We're going to want to cover right up by the tape. And we're going to come down and we're going to cover about half of the shaft. Half to three quarters. We like to work it about half at a time. Make sure you check out your um, instructions on your spray adhesive when you're using it. Um, Super 77 is pretty sweet because it's usually tacky and ready to go in about 10 or 15 seconds. I'll just give it a couple more seconds here and then what we're going to do is we're going to grab our rope and we're going to take uh, somewhere in the neighborhood of two to three inches and we're going to lay that right on top. Just give it a nice push down so it's all good and then we're going to start with our first wrap. We're going to be real gentle on our first wrap to make sure that we get it over top of the rope on the top. Once we've got it over, we're going to give it a good cinch. And then we're really going to want to hold pressure on this. Make sure that we hold it down really well and that we keep these wraps really tight. Now we're going to start wrapping and we're going to wrap this uh, right around the halfway marker and then we'll put our next round of adhesive on. Once we get down to about here, we're going to add the rest of our adhesive. 
Once again, we're going to want to make sure as we spray over this that we get really tight up on our masking tape. We want to make sure that we get every bit of this with, with glue. Now, <clears throat> we're getting closer to the end here as you can see and what we're going to want to do here is leave about two to three inches and this is where we're going to insert our rope loop and our rope loop is going to let us uh, finish our wrap. So we're going to take our rope loop and put it right up to the top of the masking tape, grab another piece to hold it in place, we'll pull it back down, put another one on this side just like that, and now we're going to wrap right over top of it. So we're going to go nice and easy for a wrap or two here, make sure that we've got everything really tight. And now we're going to go ahead and finish our wraps and we're going to bring this rope wrap right down to the edge of the original marking tape that we put on the shaft. Perfect. Now that our rope wrap's done, we're going to want to come in here remove our masking tape. We're going to cut off a uh, tag end here that's about, we're going to leave a tag end here I should say, that's about two or three inches long. Once we've got this all set up we're going to go ahead and take our tag end and put it right through this loop. And then we're going to go ahead and we're going to take our shaft out and get it right so now that we've got it uh, up and down, I do like to start this process by hand. You can't every time, but if you can start by hand and pull it to get it cinched into place, it's handy. This one's not going to let me do it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take my rope loop. I'm going to put my foot right in and Kyle's going to hold this tag in for me so it doesn't come right off and just like that, that's how we finish. So I talked about the NRS strap earlier and this is a pretty short um, shaft for doing here today, it's only seven and a half feet in length. If you had a longer shaft you might want to add an NRS strap to your rope loop um, in order to give you a little bit more leverage especially if it's a lot higher in there. So now what we're going to do is grab a razor blade. We're going to come in and cut this tag end right out. I like to pull on it, get some good tension, come right from the top down as tight as you can get it. Boom, she's gone. Now for our next step, we're going to tighten up our wraps. So you can use a hammer if you like, just come in with a hammer and tap it around the edge. Um, or if you've um, decided to make up one of these jigs, then they can be really handy too. So we're just gonna give it some taps all around, nothing too crazy. If you haven't had an issue with the wrap when you're putting it on um, and you're a little lopsided, you can definitely use this to try to tap some of it out. like that we're all done so we can go ahead now and we'll come in and remove our masking tape and as, you, as you guys can see that's uh, nice and clean nice and tight that's just how you want it to be just like that cool thanks for watching